and happy Thursday to you. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. <laughs> I do that a lot. Are your days crossed? Mine are. And I don't know if it'll ever go back to normal for me, unfortunately. So today I had a plan to unbox this keto crate on a live on YouTube, but I'm glad that I didn't because the fine folks at Keto Crate are allowing me to do a giveaway in this video. So two of you will find out how to win your very own Keto Crate and they'll ship it to you next month. I love subscription services of all makes and models. I love being able to try before I buy. It is my love language. If you are not new here, you know that I have been obsessing over how much I love Keto Crate compared to all of the others in the Keto subscription box arena. So let's open it and see what's inside of August box. And about halfway through, I'm gonna tell you how to win yours. We never do good at this, you guys. So I'm going to give you a hashtag and I'm going to tell you the exact time and day where you can come back to this here comment section and find out if you won. Because a lot of times we do giveaways, you guys don't come back to see if you've won, and it's crazy. So please don't do that. Good mug today. Use the hashtag Keto Crate Ginger, K E T O K R A T E G I N J A. So leave the hashtag and a comment down below. Come back on Sunday to check and see if you won. My allergies have been insane. TMI is super gross, but I've got major pollen post nasal drip happening. I almost thought I was losing my voice last night which doesn't happen to me very often. <laughs> God made me loud and proud, so it's very rare for me to lose my voice. That's how I know it's allergy related. So if I kind of sound froggy, I'm okay. I'm just congested. So Keto Crate, always coming at you with that positive, beautiful packaging. It always has like really good, you can do it pep talk kind of lingo and signage and i'm just into that it does not take much to make me feel like you can do it so little things like that do really help me there's coupons there's recipes really this looks good keto fruit pizza okay okay so all kinds of really great literature and there are always weight loss success stories from real normal actual human people and we love them for that so their big thing is they hand pick their products and the people that curate these products are actually keto so that's helpful <laughs> this seems like it would be obvious but surprise it isn't so first and foremost, you guys are going to recognize this, Perfect Keto Snickerdoodle Nut Butter. This is perfect timing because I am out of the Snickerdoodle flavor. I absolutely love mixing this into the uh, High Key Keto Oatmeal, one of my favorite things ever. Also, if you are out of Perfect Keto, it's on sale right now. It's like buy to get one free or something like that if you want just the nut butter. But ke Perfect Keto Nut Butter, I'm not going to open this and taste it because I am not breaking my fast yet. Not for that. I might for something else. Let's see what else is in here. Lots of, um, lots of, like, papers, and they are really trying to tell us something. Okay, okay, get it together, get it together. Oh, this is a product. Okay. So this is a beverage that doesn't surprise me. Basically, it's a vitamin C and electrolyte combo. I'm sure you just dump this in the water, probably similar to like an Ultima or one of those kinds of things. I'm going to be honest, as happy as I am to see all of their information, I don't really like that they attached this and just kind of threw it in the box, but I'll try it and we'll see. Naturally citrus sweet, promotes alertness, no negative attributes. That's a weird thing to put on a package. Come on, sport tea. You need a new marketing company. Uh, Primal Kitchen. Ooh, Primal Kitchen Mint Chip Protein Bar. Um, unpopular opinion. I do not love Primal Kitchen sauces and dressings. I know a lot of people really do like them in the sugar-free community, but they're not my absolute favorite. This is new to me. I didn't know that they made little snacks and treats, so I'm gonna try this. 
Remember I said I wasn't breaking my fast for the nut butter? The mint chip protein bar, that will break fast for. It's about that time anyway. Not a fan. I just full on went and brushed my teeth. It's like that. That was horrific. Please do not bother trying a full large pack of the Primal Kitchen protein bars, especially in the mint chip flavor. It, it takes a lot for me to spit something out. This was disgusting. Really good example of why subscription boxes are cool because had I bought like a six pack of those, I would have been really bummed out. So not a fan. Ooh, yeah. Okay, huevos. Have you guys seen these? These are egg white chips. They're like a really nice crisp, kind of a, I guess a cracker is probably, or a chip replacement, but I haven't seen this flavor yet. The dill pickle flavor. I really like all of the ones that I've tried. Texturally, they kind of remind me of the Ritz crackers. Yeah, mm-hmm, ooh. Mama likes the pickle flavor. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. Kind of a cracker, kind of a chip. Dill pickle and sour cream and onion are my favorite so far. If you are missing chips and crackers, these are bomb. And four net carbs for the whole bag. And the bag is like up to here. I'm a fan. Okay, I feel better now. I needed that. Our friends at Primal Kitchen have another entry. This is a collagen, unflavored collagen peptides. I'll probably sneak this into a smoothie. I'm pretty hopeful that an unflavored collagen isn't going to be as dramatic as the protein bar, but I know that this brand is kind of expensive, so I'll give it a try. I already have a love in collagen. Oh, cool. These are, the company is, help me, High Low Life, Hilo Life. It's a snack mix. Crispy Gouda, cheese, and pecans snack mix. Well, I love all of those things. It's only four net carbs for the whole bag, and again, super full. Let's try this. High Low, Hilo, someone come tell me, tell me. Ooh, it smells really good. You can smell the Gouda. That might be a bad thing for you. <laughs> I happen to really like Gouda cheese. It looks beautiful. Reminds me of like the Keto Farms snack mix. Yeah, okay. Mmm, good flavor. Mmm, mm -hmm. okay, so... Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's really, really good. The little cheese crispies in it remind me of moon cheese. It's kind of crispy, not soft, and they're really airy. They're not dense, which is nice. The flavoring is great. It It's ranchy. Oh, <laughs> imagine that. Really ranchy. Yeah, I would gosh darn say so. I love it. I would buy this. Yeah, that's a good one. I love pecans. I think they're super underrated as far as uh, low carb nuts go. Okay. Uh, scuta? Scuta? Scucuta? Uh, sea salt. Pumpkin seeds. Yes, I love that. Uh, pumpkin seeds are delicious, just like a sunflower kernel or something in that family. If you've ever gotten the Southwest salad from Chick-fil-A, the little spicy pepitas, those are pumpkin seeds. Let's see if we can... All right, we're in. We're in. Oh. Do I just eat these or do I have to crack them in that whole process? No. Okay, yeah, you just eat them. It's 
no show. <laughs> uh, no one has time for a show. These are good. Easy. It just tastes like a bigger, it tastes bigger. <laughs> I keep going back to the huevos pickle crackers. Those are so good. So if you like sunflower kernels, you'll like pumpkin seeds. They're delicious. Really easy and low carb. If you're missing something like salty and snacky, they're awesome. So next, I actually didn't know this was a thing. The company Kiss My Keto has entered the keto cookie arena. Heh. Sweetened with allulose, I do like that. Uh, what else is in here? I mean, honestly, such similar ingredients to the high key cookies. I'm assuming they're hoping that people like these as much. What's a uh, smells delicious, and I like the packaging. They're different. It's a butter cookie. It's um like a little blob. There's not a ton of uniformity to them, and I don't know if I love that or kind of low-key hate it. So let me show you what I mean. This isn't important if you're going to crumble it up and put it on a yogurt or something like that. But if you're trying to do really strict portion control, and let's just say that the serving size was two cookies, they're not the same size. So there's that. Nothing like the high key cookies in texture. Most similar. I'm trying to not be a disgusting pig. Hold on. Not at all like the high key cookies. The texture reminds me more of the newy cookies, but like the newer formula, the most recent ones where they're like chewy and really, really soft, buttery not super crumbly they're much more chewy really the newy cookie is the closest texture that i can think of to describe these but i really i like them it took a minute for the butter flavor and the sweetness to come on but i've noticed that with products sweetened with allulose that's pretty common that it like takes a second i don't know chemically why but these are good i hope they have other flavors butter cookies a little boring but i could think of 700 things to do with these um including just eating them like a heathen straight out of the bag yep wow listen there's a lot of things that i like in this month's box but i also am a little bit disappointed sorry keto crate but there is three actually four bars in this month's box I don't love that. I would like maybe one or two. Bars tend to be kind of higher in carbs and typically they have, I would rather have something in the like nutty seed snacky department than a whole bunch of bars. That's just my preference, mainly because all of them are around five net carbs a piece and I freaking hate that. So let's see, we have Raw Reb Glow. I've had these before. Texture wise, they kind of remind me of a payday candy bar. They don't have a ton of flavor. It also gets stuck in your teeth, but they are low carb. And if you are someone who is like really big on just like grabbing and go meals, this works great as a snack. Um, they're good, not great. The majority of this is fiber. So it's like three net carbs for this one. This one's okay. This is a new company to me, Atlas Protein Bar, 15 grams of protein, 2 grams of sugar, 5 net carbs, but, but, the flavor, uh, can you see, I'm such a rookie, peanut butter and raspberry, so that's a flavor that I have not seen tackled in, total carbs is outrageous, I'm gonna be real, the total carbs in this is 22 grams, so, I'm trying to find out how it is five net carbs right now. Give me just a second. Adaptogen superfood performance. Maca root monk fruit extract. I don't fully understand the label here. 
okay? It, I will say it has keto stamped on it, which doesn't mean much to me, but um, no soy, no gluten, no GMOs. I'm going to give this a little taste, but five net carbs for a small bar to me is a lot. Unless it's dessert-ish, which this smells like it may not be. That's pretty good. I could party with that. But you have to think, right, five net carbs, that is almost a meal. Almost. Like, I would probably drink a giant cold brew with that and maybe a salami stick, and that would be lunch, or I would be overdoing it. Or I would have to have a really low carb. Like, if you threw this onto a salad, you're really adding a lot of carbs to your day. I'm just going to say it. But here's what it tastes like. It tastes like hardened peanut butter. It tastes like someone melted peanut butter into a log shape and threw some dried cranberries and some kind of maybe peanuts or crunchies in it and solidified it. So if you like peanut butter, you're going to love these. It is delicious. And peanut butter and raspberry, that just gives me so many good ideas. I wouldn't have thought to put those together, but I'm really... It's, it's good. It's good. But it's five net carbs, so plan accordingly. Atlas, you got my mark for now. Too many bars, though, you know? Too many. I don't eat a ton of them. There's only a couple of brands that I love. The last bar, Monk Pack. One gram of sugar, two net carbs, plant-based, gluten-free, grain-free, coconut, cocoa chip. I'm gonna need to drink like nine gallons of water after sampling all of these snacks. This one actually looks like a Quaker granola bar. Like a, um, we would have eaten when we were kids. Right? It's like chewy, soft, looks coconutty, smells coconutty. I thought this was chocolate, but I think it's a seed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A lot of coconut, two net carbs, sweetened with allulose. Wow, allulose coming in hot, y'all. This is good. <laughs> coconut stuck everywhere. <laughs> puppy's only two net carbs and it's delicious the texture really does remind me of like a quaker chewy granola bar and i've missed that texture in my life so if you haven't tried i don't know why this is hard for me to say monk pack granola bars give them a go meat sticks love meat sticks you guys know my husband loves meat sticks so if I want to try them, I have to try them in this setting and then hide them or he will eat them all. This one's by the company called uh, Country Archer Jerky Co. Pork raised with no antibiotics. Uh, pineapple flavor pork stick. One gram of sugar. Two carbs for the whole thing. Not bad because it's big. It's a big one. Pineapple, huh? That is the shit. Sorry. Those are good. Country Archer, these are bomb. It is a sweetened, very soft meat stick. You can taste the pineapple flavor. I feel like I'm at a luau right now. Ugh, so good. Last but not least, Sweetwood Smokehouse Fatty Meat Stick. I've had the original fatty meat stick before. This is the jalapeno flavor. So I'm definitely going to give that a try as well. And look at us. We've knocked lunch off of our list too. This is... <laughs> it came out of the package really forcefully. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. I'm seriously immature. Like, seriously. Ooh, baby. Oh, it's spicy. It's like spicy. I like spicy. That jalapeno fatty is a spicy sausage. That's what she said. 
I hate myself. Okay, listen, couple of things. If you are not following us over on Facebook, I really hope that you'll go and like the Keto Ginger Facebook page. Also join the Keto Ginger Kitchen Facebook group. A lot of really amazing things happening over on Facebook. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All of my contact info is going to be down in the description below. If you want to score a Keto Crate, use code KETOGINJA at checkout to save and you are welcome in advance because you're going to be able to sit down, dump it out like it's Halloween night and pick through and find your favorites and not waste money on stuff that's disgusting. Like the Primal Kitchen Protein Bar. Just to remind you, if you want to win your very own Keto Crate, don't forget to leave the hashtag down below. Hashtag Keto Crate Ginger, okay? Hashtag Keto Crate Ginger, K-E-T-O-K-R-A-T-E-G-I-N-J-A. And then you are going to want to check back here on Sunday morning. I will have the winners down below in the comment section. So come back to the comments on Sunday and find out if you won. If you want to set yourself up with a keto crate just to ensure that you win, that is also smiled upon happily. Code Keto Ginger saves you money. You guys will absolutely love them. I hope you have an amazing rest of your Thursday. Thank you so much for snacking on some yummies with me, and I will see you guys really, really soon. What? <laughs> Bye.